Girl, let's uh, get you a very shocking case uh, that's come to light uh, of a sign that even those practicing the law are not immune to scamsters. A lawyer from Bengaluru was not just duped of uh, money but was also made to strip on video for a narcotics test. The nude videos of the woman were then used to try and extort an additional 10 lakh rupees from her after which she finally lodged a police complaint. The recording of the 29-year-old was made after she was practically held hostage for nearly two days with a video camera and microphone on at all times by people claiming to be a Mumbai cyber crime team or the CBI. Well, this ordeal seems to have started on April 3rd when uh, she got a call uh, from the FedEx customer care, somebody posing as uh, uh, coming from FedEx customer care saying that there is this parcel that has been stuck. The moment she claimed that this is not her parcel is when the entire ordeal began. She wanted, being a lawyer, she wanted to uh, file a complaint with the cybercrime talking about uh, how these camsters are uh, uh, stealing away their IDs and how this is being misused and that is where all of this stems from but the entire idea or the intention behind it turned out to be an extremely arduous task for her with uh, calls after calls that kept pouring in uh, from uh, different quarters, each of them trying to pose as different uh, people, officials from the investigating agencies. In fact, uh, some of them posing as uh, the CBI officer from uh, Mumbai talking to her. All of them over a video call asked her to download uh, the app Skype and uh, over two hours where it was kept on and she was being, uh, over two days, sorry, she was it was kept on and she was being monitored even while sleeping. This was the kind of ordeal. How did she really fall into this trap is something that the police is investigating now. But finally, she got this wake-up call. She disconnected the call and immediately filed a complaint with the, the Bengaluru police where the investigation is underway, uh, trying to trace where the call really came from. And uh, this is not the first time that uh, Bengaluru has witnessed. In fact, I've known of many people from my family and friends who have received such a call. And most of them can easily fall prey to these kind of scamsters. And this, th there are one too many like this that keep going on here and cyber crime is definitely one such department where a lot of complaints keep pouring in at least as far as Bengaluru is concerned this is what we hear from cyber crime officials here